The Salon Corridor sits above 11,000 feet elevation, higher than Breckenridge, Colorado. From northern Afghanistan, it's the road to Kabul. Most of the fuel, materials, steel, building materials, and food um, going between the north and the south has to go through this tunnel. Uh, it goes underneath the Hindu Kush Mountains. The alternative route uh, is almost another day's journey. For 59 years, the tunnel has served as more of an obstacle than a passage, with long closures due to wrecks and even deaths caused by disasters. Uh, it was built in the 60s, uh, had minor maintenance in between there uh, through the uh, Soviet War, then the, the uh, 70s with the Mujahideen and Taliban fighting back and forth, uh, never maintained, so the, the road service got very degraded. In those days, it was designed to accommodate up to 1,000 vehicles each day. Over the years, the traffic has increased. That number has uh, risen to about seven to 10,000 vehicles per day, mainly heavy trucks. So we've been asked in the last year to, to improve the tunnel so that the commerce can continue. Starting in late 2012, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has overseen the Salong Tunnel's restoration by an Afghan construction firm. They've paved the 1.6 miles of uneven road and built a new power plant to replace the original, now insufficient. I'll bring it up to two megawatts of power uh, to provide reliable uh, energy for both the uh, uh, support base here, uh, as well as for the enhanced ventilation in the tunnel, uh, lighting and communication system that'll help the uh, Afghans keep this uh, uh, vital economic link open. With the ribbon set to be cut at the end of the year, an unstable Afghan economy begins to see the light at the end of a much safer tunnel. Air Force Staff Sergeant Mike Larman the Salon Corridor, Afghanistan.